Bill Cunningham from the fashion front. And there's no question, we're not just in an evolution, we're in a revolution. It has all to do with men's perspective on dress, and particularly a new generation. We will see the sweep of fashion, starting, if you will, the Ralph Lauren man in his very precise tailored tweed suits, jackets, waistcoats, and then you see the younger men here, the jacket as it would be all basted by a tailor with basting thread. So it's taking a very classic thing and tweaking it, which is wonderful. Now, the younger generation are seeing men's dress in a totally different way. Now, of course, they're obviously not going to a board meeting in a bank. <laughs> they wouldn't get in the door, <laughs> but that's another question. Look at the use of fur as a touch on men, men's clothes, and the use of color. Then you have the other young men showing us that grunge, it's all being reinterpreted by a new generation. Mark Jacobs started it 20 years ago, and wow, we, we, it's back with a force. As a matter of fact, that's what the Saint Laurent was collection, Eddie Slyman's collection was so criticized for. But there's something in the air and it's all being reflected, not in women's clothes, but men's clothes. But this young fella in his full getup and he painted his boots himself and embroidered his leggings himself. And then when I looked, I thought, my God, he's got gold teeth. Well, they weren't gold teeth at all. They were a grill. And of course, where would you be without the hat? And not just a hat, look at the rakish angle of these hats. Of course, how Buck Rogers got in there, it's, I think it's kind of marvelous. Looks like the fin of a Cadillac, 1950 Cadillac car, doesn't it? It's a very, very interesting time to be observing fashion. Fashion throughout recorded history has been a marvelous barometer. In retrospect, historians study fashion. And we're seeing it now played out right before our eyes in the 21st century. So don't, I mean, it's very easy just to laugh and pass it off that all oh, this is going along with gay marriage and all this, they can dress any way they want. Well, it's much more than that, much more than that. The peacock is emerging. He's been a sparrow since mid-Victorian times. We had the beginning of the peacock revolution in the 60s. Well, I think we're seeing the full flower of it now.